as the two sides emerge, of course, from the corner of this Old Trafford ground, from the Stratford end tonight, onto the surface here at Manchester United. Rio Ferdinand and Carlos Puyol, who missed the first leg from suspension, leads Barcelona and Manchester United, of course, respectively. And uh, Van der Sar and Valdez follow their two captains out as they're drawn towards the middle. It's a very different atmosphere here at Old Trafford. They've really tried to beat this one up tonight. And the crowd seem to have found their voice. And at the Stratford end, well, slightly surprising this, there is a silver glint of a European Champions Trophy being held aloft by the whole of the first tier here at Old Trafford tonight. There is still an awful lot of work to do before either side manages to make it to Moscow. Remember, if you've got satellite or cable TV, you can tune in to score five live. That's our five live commentary with added stats and live video printer to keep up to date with all of tonight's football action here from Old Trafford. Just press the red button on your remote control right now and more European football to come this week, of course. Tomorrow, Chelsea against Liverpool in the other Champions League semi-final. Thursday, Rangers are away to Fiorentina in the semi-finals of the UEFA Cup. But for now, Fergie's great dream is a double of Champions League trophies. His side that he has picked tonight have really got to be on their metal against a Barcelona side that can play. Five Live Sport, live from Old Trafford, with Alan Green, with Mark Lawrenson and John Murray. Well, what a prospect this is tonight. Great anticipation. You must be looking forward to this if you've got interest in football. Absolutely fascinating to see how it turns out tonight. For Manchester United and Barcelona, two of the most famous club names in football, face to face. And the two teams are down there, the 11 men for each side who've been picked for the task. And they're mirroring each other at the moment, trancing down and having their team photographs taken. And then, with that formality completed, the shaggy head Talos Puyol turns to his right with a pennant in his left hand and shakes hands with his opposite number, Manchester United captain tonight, Rio Ferdinand. Both extremely grim faced and Rio Ferdinand there just having a long conversation with the referee, the German referee, Herbert van der. He had a lot to say for himself, the United captain, to the referee. It's uh, quite a mild night at Old Trafford, grey skies above. And um, the team's being read out to the 75,000 or so people inside Old Trafford to watch this spectacle this evening. Have you, have you seen the referee's assistant, the one just running down to that end? He's not small, is he? Oh, it's that Bella Lugosi. <laughs> I, I would suspect he might weigh twice what Lionel Messi weighs. Oh, I would say so. I'm not upsetting him, I'll tell you that. But... <laughs> Let me run you through the teams before we get uh, underway. United, Van der Sar in goal. Back four of Hargreaves, Brown, Ferdinand and Evra. Midfield, Park, Scholes, Carrick and Nani with Ronaldo and Tevez up front. You'll gather from that, if you haven't heard, Rooney and Vidic haven't made it, both out. Barcelona, Victor Valdez in goal. Back four of Zambrotta, Puyol, Melito and Abidal. In midfield, Xavi, Toure and Deco with Messi and Iniesta behind Samuel Eto'o. The whistle goes, and the second leg of this Champions League semi-final gets underway. Barcelona playing here at Old Trafford for the first time for almost 10 years. And it is Barcelona who immediately have a chance to break forward. At the right-hand side to the edge of the penalty area, and it's a free kick right on the edge of the box as Messi cut in and was caught, brought down, and it's a free kick inches outside the box in the United left-back area. I tell you, it was almost, almost on the line, John. Actually, I must have been well done. The referee probably just, just contact by Scholes, just outside, but he just invited the tackle and Scholes bit. Caught late by Scholes, and it's a free kick to Barcelona. But a penalty in the opening seconds at the new Camp. Very nearly had the same thing here at Old Trafford, but it's a free kick. Messi uh, is still over there. Barcelona, all in turquoise tonight with yellow numbers and yellow trim. 
the free kick. Early stages, big moment. Messi, left footed, drives it into the two-man wall. It's cleared away. But the cross comes again into the United penalty area and it's headed up and away by a very unflappable looking uh, Carrick. That looked like um, that looked like a, a handball as Zambrotta shouldered it away. Puyol near the halfway line was caught late by Kevez. Sent the ball forward. Uh, Puyol has gone down and Barcelona have the free kick to the right of the centre circle. Ah, Tevez caught him, but it's, it's, it didn't catch him as bad as uh, Puyol has made out. Puyol's only done that 27,000 times in his career. Nevertheless, free kick. Two minutes gone. Manchester United nil. Barcelona nil. And um, Barcelona with it. Deco, little shuffle from him. Long ball forward from Zambrotta to the edge of the penalty area is headed down and then played away by Carrick. Nani flicks it to Park, stationed on the left-hand side. Evra played it into Park. And then the ball bounces out. Well, it's uh, I think it's a free kick that was given for a foul on Zambrotta. It was, and uh, Barcelona wanted to take it quickly. They did, but referee Fandau has just slowed it all down. Frenzied start, Mark. Frenzy start, Barcelona have started better, I know very, very early, but just, you know, body language, everything over the ball, availability of players on the ball, the passing, everything about it. Good challenge there by Ferdinand, now free kick for United next to the centre circle because Tevez was just caught, just a little late, and a free kick, and United have a chance to settle. It's very, very early, but Barcelona have made the better start. Yeah. Scholes takes this free kick to his left and uh, then Brown and Ferdinand exchange passes and I think it might go all the way back to Edwin van der Sar it does from Brown uh, Eto'o not far away and van der Sar passes it not far away from Eto'o but United still keeping it inside their own half the, uh, the call tonight from Manchester United was and the title of it was show us your colours and all around United supporters are waving their scarves and trying to create the atmosphere. But, you know, Barcelona, when they walked out here, you know, they're one of the few clubs in the world who'll come here and think, 75,000? So what? Playing their home games at the Nou Camp. Here's Park now on the left. Evra cuts inside, does well. Still going, drags it back to Tevez, who's 25 yards out. Moves it on a little. Oh, and he was just caught there. Uh, play continues and bounces through the middle. No free kick given to United. And it's cleared away by Victor Valdez. I thought Tevez was caught there. Now Messi is bursting away up the right-hand side. Still going Messi. Running towards the edge of the penalty area. Messi still just intercepted by Brown, who got a toe to the ball. Uh, Hargreaves at right back. Um, just overran it against Iniesta, but then recovered to slide it out of play for a throw. Great break by Barcelona. The pace of the break was fantastic, wasn't it? Brown did really well because Messi looked like beating him on the inside, but... Brown's pace and power in the end just eased him out of the danger zone. Well, Mark, it, it was cagey, wasn't it, for the most part at, at the new Camp. The start we've had here suggests it certainly will be more open. It's a completely different game, John. Completely. If you forget all, everything that happened at the new Camp, it's going to be a proper cup tie tonight. Free kick to United again. This is seven or eight yards inside the Barcelona half on the right. Hargreaves, if you just joined us, if you joined us late, no Rooney, no Vidic for Manchester United. Neither of them able to play because of the, the injuries that they picked up at Stamford Bridge on Saturday. Or in Rooney's case, aggravated. Here's Ferdinand for United. Red shirts, white shorts, white socks. Up to Park. And then Park, between two Barcelona players, rolls it out to Hargreaves. Hargreaves now begins to move in field. And then across comes the challenge to put it out of play from Iniesta. Iniesta, who scored the winning goal for Spain here in the friendly they played last year, past Ben Foster, the Manchester United goalkeeper. Barcelona cleared away downfield, and Van der Sar, Champions League winner with Frank Rijkaard in their Ajax days together. Rijkaard, of course, the Barcelona coach. Here's Tevez now, who plays it straight into Yaya Toure, and now up towards little Messi to the right, to Deco. Ball breaks free to Toure in the centre circle and he knocks it all the way back. And now it finds its way to Abidal. And, and immediately he's closed down by Nani and wins a throw-in off the Manchester United player. Manchester United nil, 
Barcelona nil. Almost six minutes played, Mark Lawrence. Yeah, strange system, Barcelona, John. Really four across the middle. And Messi just played on the right wing, but, but pushed on. And obviously, uh, Etu's through the middle, but it's, it's a slightly strange system. And maybe with, Et, with Messi's half designed to keep Ever as well in his own half. Hargreaves takes a throw that scores, steers back to, to Wes Brown. And now forward from Brown, but just a little bit too much on it that it was headed down by Zambrotta. And now Evra to Ronaldo. First touch of the ball virtually. Uh, and he loses it. He's shrugged off it by Xavi. And Barcelona move it away. First touch, Ronaldo, in the seventh minute. Yeah, he was he was he was eased off the ball, really, wasn't he? Far too easily. Well, Oh, uh, Van der Sar slices the clearance from in front of his penalty area. It's taken up now by Eto, who has space on the right. Eto still going to the dead ball line, crosses it, hits the first defender, bounces away and Scholes is able to clear away. Well, United don't need nervous moments like that from one of their most experienced players, Edwin Van der Sar. Barcelona um, win it back. That looked like a late challenge on Ronaldo, but the ball reaches the halfway line and Tevez now evades two challenges and it's back to Hargreaves and then all the way back to Ferdinand again Ferdinand looks up and tries to pick out Ronaldo which he does stationed as he was just five or six yards inside the Barcelona half Evra now he attempts the pass cut out by Toure Evra still in possession got a break there Tevez now to Nani right side of the box but ball in was poor easily cut out by Abidal and Barcelona played away and now Eto attempts to set Messi free and United have got it back Messi just lost control United have it again the supporters try to raise their team because Barcelona have made the better start Iniesta now on the halfway line to Abidal and then Barcelona keeping possession and they look composed Barcelona well, we said a bit before about the players in the midfield all they will all have the ball under any any opportunity, any anywhere in the pitch, they're all very, very comfortable. It doesn't matter if Manchester United got players around them, they're just very, very good at keeping the ball and looking after the ball, basically. Still nil-nil. BBC Five Live at Old Trafford, at Stamford Bridge tomorrow night, and in Florence on Thursday night. All three matches you'll hear in the Champions League and the UEFA Cup over the course of the next few days. But Barcelona with it, with Milito to Puyol Milito again, one of three players in the Barcelona side, one yellow away from a suspension, potentially from the final, Milito, Toure and Messi likewise Manchester United Hargreaves, Evra and Nani are all on yellow cards, as it were still the Barcelona central defenders, just passing the ball between themselves as though it's a training session and then it reaches Iniesta on the halfway line. Manchester United quite content to let them have it there. But now Iniesta, little break over the halfway line to the left. Rijkaard is there, pointing orders to his team from the left corner of his technical area. Barcelona, who have won only one of their last 11 domestic games. Ball now into the edge of the penalty area. Touch for Eto to run onto, but Van der Sar slides out and takes possession. Yeah, I think that was that Xavi trying to feed him that pass through as well. He was very, was. very unlucky. The other thing Rijkaard's saying to Abidal is, you know, push on a little bit. Although you're nominally left back, when we've got the ball, Melito and Piol at the back keeping it between themselves, and, and Barcelona trying to get the width from Zambrotta and obviously Abidal as well. Zambrotta on the right, Abidal on the left. The domestic form is one thing, and all the talk of discontent in the ranks. However, you know, the, the, the fact is, as Messi breaks away now and runs towards the penalty area, gives it to Eto, turns, shoots, blocked immediately, bounces free, and is cleared away by Carrick with Messi trying to reach it. Um, then Nani jumps for it. The ball bounces away to Iniesta, who works his way back to the halfway line. Point is that this is the last chance, this competition, for Barcelona to win something this season. And the players out there will be only too aware of that and Puyol then plays the ball all the way back to Victor Valdez you see where they are now look the, the, the fullbacks are basically playing as midfield players Toure then drops off and they've got four across there and three up front it's a very clever system Manchester United nil Barcelona nil just like the first leg
Uh, Abidal, cross into the penalty area. Van der Sar back pedalling. Anxious moment. Goodness me. You could almost hear his heartbeat quickening from here, Van der Sar, as he was uh, retreating and allowing it to drop onto the roof of the net. Just heard one of our Spanish commentators behind. I think he had a when Harry met Sally <laughs> moment. <laughs> yes. Um, they're quite busy, aren't they? The, the Catalan media, who are... Um, well, they're all round us. We're surrounded. It's like the Alamo. Van der Sar from his penalty area. Manchester United nil, Barcelona nil. Offside flag uh, goes up against Ronaldo. And Barcelona again take possession. Again dominating possession. Just over ten minutes played. Um, Ronaldo felt that this throw-in should have been his. It's not. It's gone Barcelona's way. It's a free kick, actually, for his challenge on Iniesta. Yeah. And um, Abidal plays it all the way back into the Barcelona right back area, and Puyol pairing after it as fast as his legs would carry him couldn't reach it, and that was like a that was like a boundary at the other Old Trafford. There was no way Puyol was going to reach it. It's out for a throw. That's a cheap one for United, who've hardly been in Barcelona's defensive third. But that's where United are now. Scholes exchanges passes with Evra, but Scholes pass is really poor straight at Iniesta and now Eto and Barcelona are back in the central third of the field again nil nil five live at Old Trafford Eto tries to pick out a long pass diagonal for Messi but it just curled away and was overhit and Van der Sar has it and gives it quickly out to Evra who has space in front of him because Messi was upfield at Scholes now to Carrick United really not settled into the game yet Brown his long left-footed ball is asking a lot of Park and Zambrotta managed to do enough to put him off and it bounced through to the goalkeeper. Manchester United at the moment remind me of England in a tournament, giving the ball away all the time. Just just keep the ball. Everybody get a touch on it, get a little bit of confidence. Doesn't matter if you've got to go square for a while, just everybody get a part of the ball and feel part of the game. Too much respect or or is that you know too easy to say no I think, that's, I think that's too easy to say I just I also think the way Barcelona is set up is, is very very clever and you know thing about them is that the, the two centre backs will have the ball all night won't they a long ball forward for Eto Brown though did well actually just got close enough to him and the header forward reached Van der Sar uh, United play it away from the back Carrick and Ferdinand and then through to Ronaldo now who gets a first chance to try and have a run at the Barcelona defence but he was put off Scholes shoots wow what a goal Paul Scholes rips into the net it's the first goal of the tie and it's been scored by Manchester United and in what style Manchester United won Barcelona nil well it was made by Barcelona such, such is their perseverance in trying to keep the ball in their own half and everybody have a touch. Just a little ball, John, was played into a, a position some 25 yards out, middle of the goal, and Paul Scholes hit it, and he hit across the ball, and it was always arching away from Valdez. An absolutely brilliant strike, but it's a goal out of nothing. Well, you know, over the course of this game, they barely deserve it, United. First attempt on goal but what an attempt and Manchester United lead by a goal to nil we, great... can't, have, we can't have extra time now can we either well, you cannot um, you know great joy from the what probably 71 72 thousand or so Manchester United supporters but you know I think that reaction had an element of surprise about it as well Skulls now, the goal scorer, plays it over the top for Ronaldo. Victor Valdez comes a long way out of his penalty area. Ball bouncing high, and he had to fly kick it away. And that was a that was a touchy moment for him. Ever now on the left-hand side. Uh, didn't keep it in, and it's a throw to Manchester United. Well, there's nothing better to settle your nerves in a Champions League semi-final second leg than a goal. How good is that? Just seen a little shot off Skulls, close up of him. Just um, looks almost bewildered by the fact that he has found the goal he hasn't scored for eight months Paul no. Scholes it's worth waiting for though absolutely was it ever my thing is from Barcelona's point of view it doesn't really greatly change what they have to do does it no not at all however 
just listen to what it's done to the atmosphere. And they were edgy, weren't they? They were very edgy, the supporters, because of the way that the match had started. But Paul Scholes scoring in the 14th minute of the game. And United lead 1-0. And now here's Ronaldo on the right. Tevez in the middle, makes a run. And then Melito takes out Ronaldo, who beat him and just used his knee to bring him down. Ronaldo, though, took the invitation and is now writhing around in the Barcelona left back I'll area. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, it was a poor tackle. Um, I'm not seeing too much of Melito. I mean, he definitely looks like a man who's drafted in in an emergency. Well, apparently, he's not absolutely fully fit either. He needs surgery this summer, I hear. But um, he was beaten all ends up by Ronaldo. Ronaldo's OK, incidentally. And it's a free kick to United. United leading by a goal to nil. Nani has been very careful about his positioning. And Eto's been called all the way back. Plays it in the near post. Valdez goes down, drops it. And it's fortunate for him and Barcelona that it fell to Deco, who was able to run it away, but then lose possession. And now ball forward from Ferdinand. Offside flag was straight up with possibly three United players offside. Well, I don't know about you, but... Uh... I think every time the ball, I mean, it's only the second time it's come into Barcelona's box, but I feel with free kicks and corners against because of the goalkeeper. I think every time the ball comes in, there's just a real sense of nervousness in there. One of the flute players on the pitch, Victor Valdez, who isn't a full international, if not the only one. Um, here's Carrick in the centre circle, who plays it to the right. They say that goals change games, and... That goal from Paul Scholes seems to have changed this one because Manchester United have found some confidence in the absence of Rooney and Vidic. But Scholes, one of the old stages, missed the final in 99, famously, of course, along with Roy Keane, the two of them suspended. Well, Scholes has scored the goal and Manchester United lead Barcelona by a goal to nil. Throw in to United, 10 yards inside the Barcelona half. What a moment that was, the, the Skulls goal. You know, you talk about games like this, semi-finals, calling on the big players with the big personalities, and a goal like that from Paul Skulls. There, there was a slight stunned silence, wasn't it? No, it, was, it was very, very, very slight, obviously, with 75,000 Manchester United fans in here. But as you absolutely rightly said, Mark, you know, it doesn't change anything, Barcelona... You know, still need to score, and a score draw, remember, would take Barcelona through. 1-0 Manchester United lead, though. And it's with the red-booted Nani. Carrick takes it up now and swings it out to the left-hand side, where Evra chests it down into his path and approaches the penalty area. His ball in, takes a little deflection off Park, and then is cleared away by the straggly-haired Milito. Out see, to Messi. Sorry, see how they just, Messi just stays. He doesn't, he doesn't track it ever at all, he just stays. Messi beats Scholes, takes on Brown, still Messi. Messi shoots, Van der Sar goes down and pushes it away to his right. And now still Barcelona in possession. Iniesta along the dead ball line, might have run that out. Yep, the assistant has flagged on the far side and it's a goal kick. I mean, it's great play by Messi. I mean, he's, he's basically, in football terms, he's allowed to cheat, which is, he doesn't chase his mark, he just lets somebody else deal with that. He got the ball, ran at Manchester United. You know he's always, always going to cut inside from on the right-hand side because of his left foot, but it's so difficult to stop. It's a good save by Van der Sar, and I'm not actually quite sure whether it was actually it, whether it was going in, but it was, it was a good save. It's not a brilliant save. First proper save that, that Van der Sar... He's had plenty to do in the game, but that's the first real save that he's had to make. So 20 minutes played. Uncertain start by United. Nearly conceded a penalty in the opening minute. Now Van der Sar again delayed his clearance and... Plays it actually off Eto'o and out for a goal kick. Then Barcelona dominated the opening stages. But that goal from Paul Scholes, 25 yards, a little bit more than that. Maybe. Yeah, um, I think that's Mike Phelan just coming out now and having a word. I mean, United have to make a little decision here with uh, Patrice Evra. Did they say to him, don't go, uh, sit back and obviously look after Messi? Or did they say, look, you go and we've got to sit somebody in there to stop Messi getting the ball on the breakaway? Manchester United 1, Barcelona 0. Still Chester 0, Stockport 0, incidentally, in League 2, which means a great deal to Mansfield Town supporters. But um, here's Tevez, back to the halfway line, and 
Carrick's ball over the top now for Ronaldo, who turns and plays it back, and Park shoots! And that was not far away from the bottom right corner as Park looked as he took that shot from, what, 16, 17 yards? Yeah, he did really well, Park, because he, he took it first time. Just had a slight adjustment of the feet, opened himself out a little bit and tried to pass it into the far corner. And unfortunately for him, he had to pass it round the defender, and otherwise could have been 2-0. Five live, Manchester United 1, Barcelona 0. Valdez, Victor Valdez, takes the, the goal kick, and Hargreaves in this right-back position again tonight. Uh, jumps, beats Iniesta in the air, but concedes the throw-in. Rijkaard is out there again. A man very much under pressure from the, uh, the Catalan media we were telling you about, and we can tell... And we know just how vocal they can be just by sitting here. Uh, oh, danger at the back for Barcelona. Puyol oh, won the free kick. Tevez tried to nick it away from him, but Milito and, and Puyol, very uncertain. But Tevez clearly made some contact on Puyol, but cleverly Puyol reacted, won the free kick, and there we are. Yeah, I think he got a free kick in here, but again, old, good old Victor Valdez. Uh, he inspires confidence, not. Barcelona take the free kick. Um, and Milito plays it to Puyol and he had the look there of a man who didn't particularly want it with Park bearing down on him and he's just shoveled it out of play on the halfway line for a throw into Manchester United and lots of people have brought flags here tonight and someone there just waves a, a red and black one as the throw-in is taken next to the sign which reads UEFA Champions League Manchester United leading by a goal to nil Carrick now angles it towards Tevez who's 25 yards out but he's forced back towards the halfway line scores again, challenged manages to squirt it to the left and Ronaldo is there, Barcelona backtracking, ball in takes a deflection and it's a corner and we're halfway through the first half Manchester United 1, Barcelona nil on BBC 5 Live and he has Alan Green just looking at Valdez the, the only uh, thing he shares with Casillas and Reina is nationality and I, I suppose a vague tendency to occupy an area just in front of the goal goodness he's a liability not that he could do anything with Skull's fabulous shot corner to United played it from the left side and went a long way almost went to Ronaldo he miscontrolled it back it goes to Skulls, and Skulls to the right side in part Manchester United lead Barcelona 1-0 Carrick sweeps the cross in. Brown gets ahead to it, but it's behind. Well, well, wide goal kick. Yeah, Brown wasn't to no decent cross, but Ronaldo was right behind him. But Brown was already up arching his neck to, to make the jump and make the connection. But Ronaldo would have been in a better position. Well, I said to Mark Saggers before, Alan, about the goalkeeper. Why you can't go out and buy a good goalkeeper if you're Barcelona? I'll never, ever know. Uh, and this guy, Melito, shouldn't be playing tonight because uh, he should have been yellow carded if not sent off in the first leg. He had a very fortunate uh, time there and should have been suspended this evening. Not only that, have you seen him trying to run? Oh. It's not good, is it? No. So, United, having started um, not exactly brightly, lead 1-0. Scholes hasn't scored since, that, what is it, August? Now, uh, here's Etu flicking the ball towards the left side, towards Avidal. Intercepted by Nani, but it breaks to Xavi. Xavi left in the centre circle. Slides the ball to Messi in the far side. Zambrotto on the overlap. Messi keeps the ball on to Deco. Deco into Zambrotto, into the penalty. Big track by Brian. Brian was pushed. That's a free kick. Yeah, and I think I think Zambrotto, Zambrotto pushed Brown onto Van der Sar. Van der Sar but fortunately for uh, Manchester United, I think they're, they're OK. But it was a, it's a naughty push, that. Well, as we've played to 20, maybe 25 minutes here at Old Trafford. Manchester United 1, Barcelona 0, that's the aggregate score as well. Uh, it's a funny evening, there are a few clouds around, a uh, hint of rain in the air, but Old Trafford brilliantly floodlit at the moment and very alive, courtesy of that Paul Scholes goal in the 14th minute. Now, what's the referee? The ball, the ball didn't come out of the area. Van der Sar gave it to Ferdinand and he knocked it back in the area. And I don't think Ferdinand knows exactly what it was given for. And the referee's going to have a word with him and tell him, well, um, he, uh, Van der Zaar, not Van der Zaar, Rio Ferdinand, talking to Herbert Van Del, who's the referee in Athens for the final last season. Tomorrow night, Chelsea against Liverpool. And at the moment, we're heading for the first ever all-English final in Europe's premier club competition. 
It's happened twice before. Uh, Real Madrid played Valencia, and uh, AC Milan played Juventus here in this stadium five years ago. Will Moscow uh, be witnessing Manchester United against Chelsea or Liverpool? That's the way it is at the moment. Here's Molito flicking it in the direction of Eto'o. Eto'o's slip. Surface isn't great here at Old Trafford. But the ball is now with Deco. Deco plays it behind Zambrotta and it rushes out of play. And Deco looks at him. Zambrotta's a mature fault, mate. Well, I tell you what, Zambrotta's fault. He started to run. He was in a position where Deco could hit him with the ball. And then he ran behind the Manchester United player. From the throw-in, United have it. Here's Ferdinand, acting captain tonight. On the Carrick. Carrick caught in possession by Messi, but it breaks to Ferdinand again, who hits it upfield. Now he chases after it. The French left back, Abidal, is there first, and he turns and belts the ball out of play behind the Barcelona coach, Frank Reichard, who's standing in the technical area at the moment. Not unduly worried, because I don't think United have, have really hit top gear yet, even though they have this one-goal lead. Barcelona's task remains the same. They need to score an away goal. Hargreaves running down the right side, runs out of play, and it's a throw-in now to Barcelona. Abidal to take it. Halfway inside his own half. Xavi and Iniesta are both nearby. It's uh, thrown towards Iniesta. Iniesta holds off Park. Uh, runs through a crowd of Richards. That's great play by Iniesta. On to Eto. That was wonderful play by Iniesta. Eto approaching the penalty here. Into it now. Slide the ball in low. Didn't reach his target. Deco. Cleared by Manchester United. And then was there a push on Park? There it was. was. And it's a free kick. A free kick to Manchester United. What a great run by Iniesta. Very, very clever. Everyone's saying, well, he's not going to run it, is he? He's just going to pass it. But there were four red shirts around, around him. I know. Terrific. That's just a little hint of the danger that Barcelona still pose here yeah. at Old Trafford. That's all we've really seen from them. One sort of messy burst apart with the save from Van der Sar low down to his right. Van der Sar out of his penalty area to take this free kick. Headed away by Zambrotta. Nani miscontrols it. Abidal should pick it up. Where's he going? He's running back. But now he checks inside of Tevez into Yaya Turu, who gives it away to Nani. Nani for Manchester United. Good ball into Park. Scores with a terrific late run. Into Paul Scores. The pass was behind him. Still not cleared, though, by Barcelona. Tevez to the right of the penalty. Swings the cross in. And Valdez plops it in. Headed back towards goal by Ronaldo. And cleared by Barcelona. Water keeper Victor Valdez is. Who would want to buy him? Only Barcelona. Goodness gracious. Piol hurt himself, a clash of heads. The referee's not seen it. He, he, he did hurt himself, there's no doubt about it. He, for once, he's not acting. Well, he's a brave sod, yeah. Mr. Puyol, with unquestionably. I mean, sometimes, actually, it's his positioning that gets him into uh, situations where he has to dive into that kind of danger. I think I think he clashed with uh, Melito. We'll just think, I mean, what is Valdez doing? What is he doing? Uh, we're seeing a replay of it. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was actually Melito. Yeah, it was his own player. But it was genuine. Couldn't keep bees, could he, Valdez? <laughs> dear, oh, dear. 29 minutes played. All to the good for Manchester United, who lead 1-0 here. You're listening to Five Live Sport on the BBC. From Old Trafford. Champions League semi-final, second leg. Fergie Smith equaling Ancelotti's record. And uh, this could be, of course... The second that he wins and takes them through to another Champions League final. Puyol ready to come back on now. The ball's back in play. And uh, the fourth official is checking with Puyol that he's OK. He says, you're all right, son. Uh, actually, the ball's back in play, but it's a bounce ball, it's going to be. And uh, it's hit back by Brown to Van Zaar, and Puyol rushes on. You do wonder why they bother sending them off in the first place, you know. Long pass upfield by Manchester United. Tevez keeps it in play, close to the corner flag, cutting into the penalty area now, cleverly wins a corner off Zambrotta. Of Molito. So Manchester United, having been second best to Barcelona in the opening dozen minutes of the game, took the lead through Paul Scholes, and now they're edging their way into dominance. Barcelona not showing a great deal at the moment. We played half an hour. Second goal might kill them off. Here it comes. Right foot in entering. Ronaldo's there. Good punch this time by Valdez. Long way it went. 
Park picked it up. Then he lost possession, and Barcelona can counter-attack here. It's with Iniesta. Me Messi's running through the middle, and it was a poor pass by Iniesta. Van der Sar advances and hits it out of play for a throw-in. Yeah, it was a poor pass. It actually, deference to Victor Valdez, it was a good punch was this it? time. Yeah. Uh, we misjudged him entirely. Yeah. He's a brilliant goalkeeper. Only took him 30 minutes, 41 seconds to come up with anything. Do something. <laughs> Here's Toure from the Barcelona throw-in. Back to Molito. And Molito slides it forward to Abidal, the left-back, into Yaya Toure again. And now Deco, who's been fairly quiet, running ahead of the centre circle now. Finds Xavi. Barcelona with lots of shirts in attacking positions. Here's Messi on to Zambrotta. Uh, more like a right winger than a right back at the moment. Back to Messi. Messi in toward Deco. Got the pass wrong. Intercepted by Scholes. Cleared by United, but only to Zambrotta. And now uh, it's uh, lifted back to Toure. And to the captain, Puyol. And all the way back to Valdez. 13 and a half minutes to half time. Manchester United 1, Barcelona 0. Paul Scholes with a fabulous shot from at least 25 yards. Now it's Hargreaves chasing back under a little bit of pressure from Iniesta. Plays into Van de Zaar and the Dutchman's clearance over the halfway line. Headed back by Molito. Xavi back to Deco. Deco whips it forward. That was intended as a pass to Messi. He didn't get it quite right, but the idea was all right. Yeah, just he needed to hit it with the outside of his foot, but caught it wrong. Here's Nani in the far side, popping up on the left. Park's gone to the right. Lovely back heel by uh, Ronaldo, but Ever didn't pick it up. And here's Deco for Barcelona. To Messi on the far side of the field. Both these teams unbeaten in the Champions League this season. United with the advantage. Now, Evra has been a judge by the referee to have fouled Messi, and it's a free kick to Barcelona. Not so sure. Anyway, it's taken. Messi to Deco. Deco to Puyol. And uh, swept along the line of the defence to Molito. On to Xavi. Xavi to Puyol. This isn't bad from Barcelona, just keeping possession. It's what they do when they make their way into the United half, though. Deco uh, towards... Who's that on the far side of the field? Zambrotta. Zambrotta, yeah. Zambrotta uh, tackles Evra. Four breaks out of play to throw into United. No great cutting edge about Barcelona. No, there there is at the moment. Well, it was the same in the new camp. Yeah, I thought they might have got a little bit more room tonight from Manchester United, but not the case. Here's Messi after United waste that throw in, but Messi... Uh, loses the ball and never clears it onto the head of Yaya Toure and then good jump by Tevez a better jump by Puyol headed on by Nani, head tennis at the moment ball breaks down to Melito and he just hoofs it upfield, Eto is there Brown heads the ball away Carrick heads it in the air, get it down folks you can both play a bit, let's see it here's uh, Avidal with Iniesta to his left, and it's played to Iniesta, who checks in field away from Hargreaves, edge of the penalty here, beats him on the outside, inside again, and then plays it back, might run to Eto, back to Deco, Deco swings in the shot, just over the crossbar. So just, just in that moment, though, with obviously the burst from Iniesta and the pass by Eto, Alan, they look like they can play at their own pace, which when you think about that, in and around your opponent's area is, is some going, and... And it's a decent strike by Deco, but it would have been absolutely perfect for him to score from there. Well, what got me was when the ball was laid uh, towards Eto, it, he so casually went to meet it, I thought, oh, it's a misplaced pass, but it was right. It was, absolutely. Oh, that it, the, the pass into Eto made him pass it, basically. Yeah, terrific. Just, just you caress that ball back to Deco, and Deco, exactly. you have a shot. It was impressive. Um, would have been more impressive still if the shot had been on target. As it is, Manchester United still lead... 1-0 and have the aggregate lead of course Melita to Abidal into Xavi back to Abidal again and now here's Toure Toure to Xavi Xavi running into the centre circle it's a good spell for Barcelona but they have to have an end product and it goes to Messi Zambrotta wide on the right hand side Messi looking in field plays it back to uh, Xavi Messi again Ignoring Zambrotta, cutting in field, uh, beating one United player and a second. Messi by 25 yards from goal. Lovely ball to the left hand side, and Abidal. Abidal can control it on his left foot. Slide the pass back, wretchedly back, straight to Nani, and Nani clears from Manchester United. But it's straight back into Barcelona's possession. Straight to their captain, Puyol. 10 minutes to half time here on Five Live Sport. Manchester United 1, Barcelona 0. Tomorrow night. Chelsea against Liverpool in the second semi-final, second leg. Uh, they finished 1-1, of course, at Anfield. If you don't know that, I don't know why you're bothering listening now. You should do. Here's Xavi. 
again in the centre circle and the pass is on Brotto on the far side of the field look how many players Barcelona are happy to put into the United half yes they need an away goal but all their instincts are attacking instincts Melito uh, to Deco pass back to Melito wasn't good but uh, Melito still has the ball on to Deco again Melito once more and now to Avidal over the halfway line near side of the field Barca left into Deco Deco has Etu ahead of him plays it to the Cameroon striker in uh, to Xavi back to Etu Deco shot just wide inches wide and the ball the ball back from I think Etu I don't think it was meant for Deco it just ran to Deco he'd, he'd continued his run and I think he hit across the ball and was probably trying to hit it too hard and and just took it past the left-hand post as we look at Van der Sar. I think Van der Sar probably had it covered. Yeah. But it was very, very close. And again, Barcelona threatening. You know, that it's, it's still noisy around Old Trafford, but not quite as noisy. I think the United fans have seen that Barcelona can threaten. Question is, can they score? Here's Messi. Oh, good interception by Brian. Winning the ball back for United. Finding Nani. Ah, poor from him. Toure picks it up over the halfway line now. Uh, to the left side, and Etu. Back to Messi, who pops up on the left flank for a chain. On towards Etu. Not a great ball, not a great uh, clearance by Manchester United. Xavi to Messi, edge of the penalty here. Puts the ball in towards the far post. Mistake by Van der Sar. Almost fell to Etu. Manchester United survived the scare. Yeah, I think Wes Brown was in there as well. And so with Van der Sar, he, he made the save, and as he fell to ground, I think he jarred his arm, which just really sent the ball back into play. Ronaldo gets uh, beaten in the tackle on the far side of the field. It's brought forward now by Toure, approaching the penalty, not uh, good, into Etu. And, uh, well, Kushak, I think Van der Sar's got a problem here. Yeah. Kushak's immediately out, warming up on the near touch line, and Manchester United concede possession again. Barcelona really dominating the game at the moment, but they have to score. They have to make that dominant tell. Eight minutes to half time. And the referee uh, has stopped play because he wants attention to Van der Sar. Yeah, he's got he's a knock on the head, I think. Maybe maybe when he, he dropped the ball and the players running around him, I think Wes Brown was involved as uh -huh. well in but, there, and, and Etu, obviously. Accidentally. Well, oh, Wes oh, Brown did. caught him with his knee, Alan. Did he? The, Wes Brown's left knee had just smacked into the side of, uh, of Van der Sar's head. I tell you what, it was a bad mistake by Van der Sar. Yeah, it was his left knee. He didn't make anything of it at the time, you know. Well, he did. He, st he stood up and st I think he put a hand up to say, I'm struggling a little bit right. here. OK, well, he's uh, receiving attention. And if there's any question of concussion, of course, he would have to come off. Um, Kushak is a good goalkeeper, not as good as Van der Sar. I think he's going to be all right, the Dutch one. So, I, unless I'm mistaken, uh, Barcelona were in possession. Yeah. So, it's going to be a bounce ball. But the question is, where will Nani strike it? Well, that's well well done that by the referee yeah. and by Manchester United. Because Barcelona didn't have to pick up possession in their own half. German efficiency. That's good. They can take penalties as well. Do you see Balax? Six minutes, six, six minutes to half time. Manchester United won Barcelona nil. Barcelona better at the start of the game and certainly better as we approach half time but United lead here's Melito to the halfway line uh, caress pass to Abidal into Xavi and now Iniesta Iniesta who's dropped into a central midfield position at the moment now on the far side Zambrotta leaves it for Messi inevitably Messi cuts inside Evra approaches the penalty here goes down as if he was fouled he wasn't fouled and then it's cleared that was a handball surely a referee way Ways play on United have the advantage. Ronaldo over the halfway line, left of the center circle. And I tell you what, he's not doing much tonight, Cristiano Ronaldo. He hasn't shown at all. No, and Deco's lucky that he wasn't booked because the referee played on a deliberate handball. Because the ref has played on, he's let him get away with it. Uh, uh, and that's a fair challenge by Carrick on Iniesta. Back it goes to Brown. Brown on to Park. Park on the far side of the field, leaving it forever. Ronaldo hanging back at the moment. Ever with Park in tandem. It's played to the Korean. Deep inside the Barcelona half. Moves inside of Zambrano. Plays the cross in. Nani hits it wide. It should have been 2-0. Well, I don't know how he missed, Alan. Good play by Park. 
drew his right foot back and zipped the cross in really, really quickly. And I think Abidal's in there, Milito's in there. No one seemed to rise above both of them. And I can't understand why. Well, I can understand why he didn't hit the target. If it, it wasn't on target, well, but any, anything a little bit heavier touch, it's 2 0. If it had been Ronaldo, it would have been 2 0. I would have said so. Uh, let's hope that's not a costly miss by Manchester United. Should have been a second goal. Ball's out of play on this near side of the field. It's a throw into Barcelona. We've got about four minutes to go to half time, plus a couple of minutes, no doubt, that'll be added on for stoppages. Throw goes to Iniesta. Back to the Barca captain, Puyol. Puyol doesn't come very forward, not unless he's a, they're absolutely desperate for a goal. He's staying deep in defence tonight, so far. Might be different later, as they chase it at goal. Here's Messi from Deco's pass, into Xavi. Great movement down the left side, forward it goes to Eto. Eto, 25 yards from goal, slides it through, uh, didn't reach Deco. Panic from Manchester United, finally the ball's hacked away to safety by Brian. They're under a lot of pressure here. Well, that's gone out straight out of Abidal. That's not a Barcelona throw-in, it's a Manchester United throw-in. Just a little bit of panic from one or two of Manchester United players, and certainly in that area, and I think it was Ever, wasn't it? And Brown was, well, you know, I'll sort it out, just get out of the way. But here we are, we've uh, almost played a game and a half, and Barcelona haven't scored against them. No. And uh, Manchester United, while not playing particularly well, no. They're getting the job done, which obviously is the most important thing. It's it's a while since they did play well. Mm. You know, really, not even in the defeat of Arsenal here. I, I, I don't think they played that well. Maybe a little bit in the uh, second half against Blackburn. Here's Eto, a lot of space for Eto. And on to Deco. Deco 30 yards out, Eto's available. So is Messi. Awkward pass from Messi to take. Br Chester controlled brilliantly. Deco in towards Eto again. Headed away by Brian. Ever a tackle by Eto. Ball break to Brian. He lashes it to safety. Left foot in the volley out for a throw in. Nothing wrong with that. No one scored from there yet. Throw in to Barcelona. Goes to Messi. Oh, brilliant from Messi. That beats three players. Edge of the penalty. Eto back towards Messi. Uh, terrific anticipation by Rio Ferdinand. Getting across in front of the Argentine. And he lifts the clearance. And Ronaldo just tests it out of play. Now, there are moments in this game. We've probably seen it two or three times from Messi where he's absolutely unplayable. But that was half a second. He'd beaten yeah. three defenders. Yeah. Here's Deco coming forward. And brought down. It's a free kick to Barcelona. It's about 35 yards of goal, inside right channel. No need for them to hurry it. We've got two minutes to go to half time. I think Manchester United just overrun in the centre of midfield. I don't think Skulls and Carrick are doing it. Well, that's Barcelona always, always do this to you. That's, that's what they're very, very good at. I was amazed that Anderson wasn't starting yeah. this game. Anyway, here's the free kick. Xavi to take it. Malito's gone up. It's played in, deep, oh, there was a chance, Milito. and it glanced off, was it Melito in the yeah. end? Yes, it was. Man, he could have got a daily mirror underneath his feet, couldn't you? Not. He could, can't get off the ground, the fellow. No. no. It's a bit of a pork as well, he's seen him run. It is a bit of a thin paper these days, isn't it? <laughs> but don't you work for them? <laughs> don't get into it, it's all right, it's okay. I'll let you off for that one. Right, over a minute to go, the half-time, plus stoppage time. And United fans find their voice, but I think they'll be concerned. Uh, there have been too many opportunities for Barcelona in this first half. Rather more than Manchester United have had. Scholes, though, has got the most important one, the goal. Oh, that's given away on the far side by Evra. Here's Messi. Eto's ahead of him. Messi running forward. Great ball into Xavi. Xavi 25 yards out. On to Iniesta. In the penalty here. Iniesta shoots low. Hits Hargreaves. Might fall anywhere. Ferdinand flicks it away when Van der Sar came and should have called. Yeah, actually, the move was started by a good uh, tackle by Zimbrotti, you know. Here's Nani, evading Toure, finding Scholes. Scholes onto Ronaldo on the far side. Still hasn't delivered in the semi-final. Ronaldo moving it toward the penalty chair to Nani. Nani turns away, then he's surrounded by uh, these blue shirts at Barcelona to take the ball off him. Uh, Scholes tackles. And, uh, it came out of uh, a Barcelona player, Zambrotta. And it's going to be a throw into Manchester United. We're trying to run down the seconds to half time. They need a breather. They need a breather. One minute. One minute of added time. Which seems a bit mean considering the stoppage to Van de Zaar. But that's what we've got. And we've only got 45 seconds of it left. 
Nani. Uh, on to Evra, who's not offside. Evra crosses weakly, cleared in the volley by the captain Puyol, and that was miscontrolled by Nani as well. Breaks up field. Here's Etu on his own at the moment, though. Messi's to his right. Etu running through the middle. He can't take all the defence on his own. Running towards the right side. Now he checks. Surely passes it into Deco. Deco 25 yards out. On to Abidal in the penalty here, drives the shot in, hits Hargreaves and goes out of play for a throw-in. Well, good move, good break, but Abidal's never ever going to score from that angle. He needs to recycle the move, really. He's going to take the throw-in. Ten seconds uh, remaining of stoppage time. It goes back to Deco, into Toure. Barcelona need to get the ball forward. The referee's not going to give him the time. He blows his whistle for half time. And I don't know about you, Mark. I mean, it was great to see the Skulls go, but I think Barcelona have been the better team. Well, they've been the better team in the way that they've kept the ball. They fastened themselves a couple of chances. But you know, so have Manchester United. So, from Manchester United's point of view, they'll be absolutely delighted to go in at 1 0. So Alex Ferguson can sit down a little bit and say, look, you know, we, we've got to get one or two more bodies in midfield when Barcelona have the ball. That's that's a real worry. Once we have it, then you get your width from Nani and you get your width from Ronaldo, whoever, and I think then you start to go forward if you're Manchester United. But they will be delighted with this. And I think I think Barcelona will feel, yeah, we've played OK, we've made one or two chances, we can score. But I wouldn't bet against Manchester United scoring a second here. Manchester United not playing well, but winning. Just have a couple of words with you guys before we go any further. Uh, you said it, Alan Coventry there, Messi against Ronaldo. No comparison again tonight. None at all. R Ronaldo's not doing it. He's been very quiet. Uh, he has the old little flourish, and then he's tackled and loses possession. What, what's he done tonight? Nothing. The way they drift around the edge of the United box as well, Mark, from a defensive point of view, seems to be an awful lot of space for Barcelona well, at the moment. they're very, very clever at uh, using the space, Mark, and um, be because Etu plays free, he can go wherever he wants, across the line up front, and Messi as well plays free. Um, more, more often than not, you know, it's difficult for defenders to come and pick them up. And I think the other thing as well is, your two centre-backs, you want your two centre-backs, Brown and Ferdinand, just in position all the time. You don't want them getting pulled out, and you sometimes you say if Etu's gone short for the ball, let him go, let Carrick or Scholes get involved with him and deal with it. Keep your centre backs in position, very, very important against a really good team. But that's my wor worry. I don't think Carrick and Scholes are picking up enough Barcelona players in midfield. Well, They're being overrun. They're outnumbered. And, and Alan Fallon, we saw the very best and the very worst of Scholes there in the very first minute, close to being a penalty with one of his tackles, and then a terrific strike, which well, we haven't seen for months. It was a great goal, terrific shot from, from Paul Scholes. And, you know, that's only his second of the season. What a uh, moment to choose. But, but earlier, I thought, honestly, in the, in the opening seconds of the game, from our angle, we're not well positioned to see it, but I thought it was it was too close for comfort, that tackle uh, on Messi. Uh, thankfully, the replay proved that the German referee got it absolutely right. It wasn't a penalty. The longer it stays 1-0, though, uh, well, the, the closer to the edge of the seat everyone gets here, don't they? Yep, they do. That's Alan Green and Mark Lawrence and second half culture to come with John Murray as well. You're listening to Five Live Sport. I'm Mark Saggers, Manchester United in front. A terrific goal for any semi-final European stage from Paul Scholes. And Manchester United so far doing what they want to do. Uh, 45 minutes from Moscow. Here's the second half. Thanks, Mark. The two teams just running out, and they are running out from the, the corner next to the Stretford end, which is to our left. Everyone returning to their seats, ready for the resumption of the drama. Manchester United leading through that spectacular goal from Paul Scholes in the 14th minute. The teams united with Van der Sar in goal, back four of Hargreaves, Brown, Ferdinand and Evra. In midfield, Nani, Carrick, Scholes and Park with Ronaldo and Tevez up front. No Rooney, no Vidic, both not fit enough. And Barcelona with Victor Valdez in goal, back four of Zambrotta, Puyol, Milito and Abidal. In midfield, Xavi, Toure and Deco with Messi, Iniesta and Eto. Mark Lawrenson is with us, European Cup winner with Liverpool, of course. Are you as nervous as the rest of us? Um, no, I'm, I'm not that nervous. I just, I, I think, I think with Manchester United, obviously the importance now is to get the next goal of the game. Obviously, stating, stating the obvious, but I think Manchester United and I think Sir Alex Ferguson, Carlos Queiroz at half time, but will have calmed them down a little bit, John. So look, you know, you, you're winning this game, one 0 There's no reason to be nervy. Get the ball down and try and play your football. But the nerves will be there until 
if they do get a second goal. And it's United attacking the Stretford end in the second half. Red shirts, white shorts, white socks and Barcelona in their uh, all turquoise kit with the, the goldy yellow trim. And um, the subs, by the way, which may become a fact that United with Giggs, Anderson, Fletcher, Sylvester, O'Shea, Kushak and young Welbeck. Welbeck's the only out-and-out -out striker of those on the bench, the teenager. As uh, United break, Ronaldo, central area, but across comes Milito and makes the challenge and Ronaldo is left on his backside rolling around. And um, the ball is uh, almost recovered for United by Everett, but it bounces out of play off the French left-back for a Barcelona throw. Uh, Barcelona subs Henri, Good Johnson, uh, Bojan, Edmilson, Silvino, Turam, and goalkeeper Pinto. One or two strikers there. Barcelona in possession with their, their captain, Puyol, who, of course, was suspended from the first leg. Xavi plays it to the left, and Abidal is there. The Barcelona supporters are singing their sounds loudly. Eto now turns, 25 yards from goal. Messi takes possession, clips the ball into the penalty area. Eto was thinking about an overhead kick, but it was headed away by Ferdinand. Now Abidal in the United right-back area. Right-footed cross, Eto almost reached it, but Ferdinand was there first, and again got his head to it, and the ball ran right across, and now just down to our right for a Barcelona throw, which is taken quickly by Zambrotta, the Italian. And then Deco doesn't read the run from Zambrotta, passes it behind him and out of play for a throw. Yeah, Z Zambrotta is entitled to run Deco. I mean, he's like, he's sort of saying to you, oh, why didn't you wait for me? Why didn't you wait for me? Zambrotta tried to run him behind the United fullback correctly. Deco had a couple of shots in the latter part of the first half, both of them wide of the United goal. But he's another of the Barcelona squad who have been struggling for fitness this season. Deco plays it to Messi. Messi now drifts in field again. 25 yards out. Fires the ball through and it actually comes off Ferdinand. Could have gone anywhere and has gone behind, what, six, seven yards wide of the post for a corner. Yeah, I think it looks like the way he reacted, uh, John, that he saw it very, very late, but he got enough on it to take it away from yep. the goals. Probably the only positive thing you could say. Hasn't helped the nerves. And uh, Xavi to take this. Corner from the right. The Barcelona supporters up high at that end. Uh, into the near post, cleared away by Ronaldo. Goodness me, he got some height on that clearance. It's almost rugby union like. Gary Owen and Ronaldo followed it up and headed it out of play near the halfway line. Carlos Queiroz appears and um, gives some very urgent instructions out onto the field. Tries to raise United as much as anything else. Because again, Barcelona have started the half the better of the two. 1 0 Manchester United lead on five live. And. Um, Barcelona with it, and here's Toure, and then misplaced pass in field, straight at Park, who's able to play it down the middle, but only succeeds in giving possession back to Barcelona, the uh, two-time European champions, just like Manchester United, extraordinary really, these two clubs only have four European titles between them, headed away by Brown near the edge of the penalty area, just got in ahead of Eto'o, Evra, now to Ronaldo, who drops to his knees to chest it to Park, who was caught there by Zambrotta, and it's a free kick for Manchester United. Zambrotta got the ball, you know. Zambrotta actually made a connection with the ball. <laughs> Referee Fandel says, uh, I'll make the decisions round here. Whatever anyone thinks, and waves away the protests of Zambrotta. Carrick now, high ball over the top, but bounces, skids through. Uh, away from Nani and through to Victor Valdez. And he was onside Nani as well, which is a little bit of a worry for Barcelona. Oh, Xavi completely beats Carrick with a lovely little swivel. Uh, Xavi now into the United half. Scholes is after him. Uh, manages to resist the temptation to jump in, Paul Scholes. And then Carrick is able to nick in a toe and win it back. Ronaldo uh, fails to run around Zambrotta and then protests. And the referee has given the free kick. I think... The arm was slightly raised by Zambrotta, the referee's seen that, uh, and also the Ronaldo reaction has helped to win the free kick, which United have taken short. Scores, then pulls to Ronaldo, who swivels and gives it to Evra, who approaches the penalty area, into the left-back, into the right-back area. Then Zambrotta goes down and blocks the cross and manages to deflect it out for a throw. And up go the scarves in the Stratford end. I think it should be very simply in Manchester United. 
Take it right footed, is it Narni? It's a corner. Yeah, take yeah. it right footed, plonk it on the middle of the six yard box and attack it. Don't foul the goalkeeper. Nani takes it into that area. Uh, Ronaldo went down inside the box. It was Brown who attacked the ball, but it was over everyone. And out to the right hand side. Uh, cross into the box is over everyone and actually has landed for Nani to control it. He approaches the penalty area now, but the defender just got the foot in. Deco it was and took the ball away but they've overrun it Barcelona and Park and Nani and now Park again driving into the fullback position his cross is good Milito only partly cleared but it bounces down and Toure shrugs off scores and Barcelona bring it away United's best little spell of the second half comes to an end because of a foul on Deco, free kick to Barcelona. 1-0, Manchester United still lead through that excellent Scholes goal. I think you can really overcomplicate football sometimes, John, and it's quite obvious. Every time the ball's loaded into Barcelona's penalty area with, with, with a little semblance of quality on it, there's a problem for Barcelona. 1-0, United lead, 5 live. Park to Evra. United seem to have just found their feet in the second half, finally. Evra and Park again on the left. Only Zambrotta there, but he's managed to clear it. Only to Scholes, the goal scorer. Now Carrick turns and plays it back to the halfway line to Brown. And then uh, Zambrotta dived in and caught Evra, and the referee immediately produces the yellow card. And there it is, huge cheer. And um, Zambrotta is booked. Well, that was his third foul in about probably the same number of minutes. And I think he's arguing he got something of the ball, which which he did again. But I think the fact that he's, he's tackled three times and three United players have fallen over has got in the booking, unfortunately, for Zambrotta. Second leg of the semi-final. Great stage for it, Old Trafford, of course. One of those must-be-there occasions for the supporters of the two clubs. Scholes takes the free kick in towards the penalty spot, headed across the box. Uh, Ronaldo turns his man, uh, turns it back into the near post and it's deflected wide by Nani. Defender was there as well, Abidal, and it's come off him last for a corner. Yeah, it's a, it's a good tackle, actually, very, very good tackle. It looked like Nani was going to get on the ball. It was, Rizzi came back, it was headed back by Ferdinand, and Ronaldo underneath it, Nani drove it in there. Uh, sorry, Ronaldo drove it in there, and in the end, it's good tackle. Corner, Nani takes it in the near post, Ferdinand was there, diving header away by Puyol, helped back in by Park. Puyol heads it away. Two Barcelona players went for the same ball. Tevez is in there. It bounces up. Hits Puyol. Shouts from the crowd for handball, not from the players. And then uh, Messi is fouled in the central third. And Park has run the ball away. And Deco has obviously said something. Now, Deco pushed uh, Park. Oh, uh, pushed Park away. So trying to get the ball, he, he pushed Park out of the way. And he pushed Park actually onto the ball. And Park kicked the ball out anyway. He had no option. But... Uh, Referees are red hot on that sort of thing. And yeah. uh, Deco yellow carded. Turquoise hot in this instance. Yeah. 1 0, Manchester United still lead. And what have we got left? There's every chance if it stays like this from a Manchester United point of view, that the second half will begin to drag for Sir Alex. Well, you know, John, and, and, until they get a second goal, basically, because you're always thinking one little moment of magic from Barcelona. Barcelona with it. Iniesta and uh, Toure rather awkwardly moves it to Zambrotta. Park comes back and checks it. And now it's uh, Deco rolls his foot over the ball. Messi wriggles away from Scholes, then plays it ahead of Carrick and Ferdinand steps in to play it away. And United with Tevez, who's been very quiet in the game, Tevez. But a long, high diagonal ball for Ronaldo to chase. He hasn't got a teammate within 30 yards of him. Taking on Puyolo, Ronaldo. Little step over, then sends Puyol the wrong way, crosses into the back post, headed up in the air by Abidal. Ball hangs in the six-yard box and it's caught by Victor Valdez. Yeah, it was he almost playing fantastic ball in for Carrick. Carrick had made a very, very good run. United leading by a goal to nil. 1-0 on the night, 1-0 on aggregate. We had quite a heavy rain shower actually at half-time, but it's dry again now. And all around the ground, the occasional flash bulb goes off as supporters try to take a memory of this night with them here's Melito forward now to Iniesta Scholes is in with the challenge and it bounces away from Manchester United great cheers that it, United have got possession back and then Hargreaves 
is uh, successful in winning a, a throw-in off Iniesta and it bounces five or six rows back where somebody lifts a Norwegian national flag and still holds it up in the air hoping that it will be captured by the television cameras I must say downstairs at half time among the media it was very much the League of Nations with all manner of nationalities represented here's Messi now turns sets off goalwards edge of the penalty area shoots but didn't catch it at all and sent the shot well wide for a goal kick there was real danger there for a moment well he just engineered himself half a yard of space on his favoured left foot I um, mean he's he picks up speed so very, very quickly and he seemed to hit across it, didn't he? He was almost swollen as he as he hit the ball left-footed and sent it almost at 90 degrees. What a talent he is, though. You know, when you see him at close quarters, he's one of those players that you, know, you have to say, isn't he, in the world game at the moment. And, and he's winning on points tonight against Ronaldo. 1-0 Manchester United lead. Uh, Eto'o beaten in the air by Brown. Nani. Uh, High and forward from Carrick. Puyol stretches for it. Ronaldo closes to it. Ball bounces for Park. Head bobbing. Now to Tevez. Quick touch. Ronaldo. Back to Tevez. Into the penalty area. Shoots it Victor Valdez who pushes it away. Just beats it away. Still in the penalty area. And Puyol manages to hook it away and out of the penalty area. And Barcelona survived. Ronaldo back heel. Now Nani into the penalty area. And his cross is blocked by Abidal. It's still in play, but... Um, Abidal comes across and just pops it out for a throw. I'm not sure how good a save that was. From first instance, Valdez looked like he's trying to get pies out of an oven without an oven glove. It was too <laughs> hot for him. <laughs> and uh, throw to United. The roll goes up from the Stretford end first and, and then all around the ground. Throw in to Tevez, who had that shot that was saved. Now, uh, Nani, stuttering footwork from him. Hargreaves, just next to the corner flag, cleared away by Abidal, off Hargreaves. Then the cross over the top of Ronaldo, who was in the middle, made the run to the near post, and Tevez's cross actually went to the back post yeah. and out for a throw. And he was closely marked by Zambrotta, who had his arms all over him as well, and just to stop him jumping, basically. It's absolutely riveting, isn't it? Yeah, he just, yeah, it's fantastic. 1-0 Manchester United lead, and Thierry Henry is preparing himself. The, uh, the, the Valdez, Valdez was a little bit better, but he could have just stood there and, and palmed it away. It knocked him over. It does look as though Henri is preparing to make his entrance. A number of uh, occasions, big occasions, he's been involved in against United. And so very nearly came up with a goal in the closing stages after coming on as a substitute in the new Camp. But has been <laughs> extremely poorly received by the Barcelona fans this season. A goal tonight might change things. Manchester United 1, Barcelona 0. And we've got just over half an hour to play at Old Trafford. Messi away from Carrick and Scholes. Now to the edge of the box. Eto'o now, just outside the D. Brown did enough, just got a little touch in, I think. And United have been able to get it away. Barcelona, recover it though. Iniesta on the right now. Beats Evra into Deco. Deco shot. Comes off Brown. And spins away behind for a corner. Just a little worry at the moment, John, where uh, Messi, Iniesta, Eto'o been picking the ball up some 25 yards out and just skipping past Manchester United defenders. Corner taken quickly by Xavi to Messi. They want to get the ball to him as much as possible. Oh, Messi brilliantly beats Scholes, plays it back. Challenge from Brown, just took the ball away ahead of Puyol. Still Barcelona. Uh, oh, given away by Zambrotta. United could break here. Nani. Just keeps it for a moment and then gives it to Ronaldo. Back to Nani again, who has space. Barcelona have got players back, but Nani now uh, beats Abidal. Nani into the area, but shoots high and wide and wildly from that position with Ronaldo in the middle. Ball bobbling around in the Stratford end. And here's the Barcelona change. Henri coming on with just over half an hour to go. Mark Lawrenson. Well, up until actually pulling his right foot and whacking the ball, Nani did absolutely everything right. Great position inside and outside the defender, and all he has to do really, and I say, oh, was just hit it low, past Valdez to the right, and he's completely went for Hollywood and ended up halfway up the stretch for end. Well, Ori's got a warm reception, and that, of course, in its own way, 
is a tribute to the danger that he always was to Manchester United. Mind you, only scored once here, and that was in the famous 6-1 defeat that Arsenal suffered. Manchester United 1, Barcelona 0. Henri on for Iniesta. United with Evra. Plays a ball for Ronaldo to chase. Zambrotta was always the favourite. Ronaldo shoved him in the back in any case. But Barcelona maintained and retained possession. Into the last half hour we go. Skull's goal is the only one of the tie. And if you've just switched on, if you've joined it late, brilliant goal from Skulls from round about 25 yards range. Just when Barcelona had made a very good start to the match. But Skull's shot, his first goal since August. Only a second of the season. At the moment, the difference between the sides. And at the moment, sending Manchester United to Moscow. But here's Abidal up the left. Uh, his cross blocked by Hargreaves. Comes back for Barcelona. Deco. Messi has drifted out to the left. But Carrick went with him and stopped Messi. A little Argentine receiving it. Hargreaves now twisting in his own right back area and just chipping it out of play for a throw into Barcelona. So as things stand, we're heading for the first final in this competition between two English clubs. Throwing for United. Again in that area, United, red and white and black scarves being waved high by the supporters. Throwing taken into the Barcelona half. Skulls takes it down and the ball almost breaks through the middle for Eto, but cut away by Ferdinand. And now up comes Evra. Here's Ronaldo, just keeps it in, right on the white line. Evra, his cross, swings it into the area, hits Toure. Vain appeals for a handball from the supporters, nothing like it. And Deco now to Messi, who has some space to take it on. And Carrick just came across him. Enough of a body check to send Messi sprawling over the Old Trafford pitch. And out comes the yellow card, free kick to Barcelona, middle of the United half. It's just far too quick for Carrick, far too quick for anyone Messi, isn't he? He's absolutely brilliant. And what's happened now is that with, with Henri coming and playing down the left, John, it looks also as though Etu's gone to the right a little bit and, and Messi's got in a more of a central position. Consequently, he's, he's running at Manchester United from that central position and pulling out Carrick and Scholes and drawing the central defenders out. Right, free kick. Well, this is 30 yards out. Um, Deco is lining up as though he's going to have a shot. He's backtracked eight or nine yards, Toure is there and um, Melito is to the left of the ball, United Wall is, is lined up now for five of the minute, Deco waits here comes Deco shoots, takes a flick off the wall Van der Sar dives to his right and it's deflected behind for a corner yeah but it was one of those dives where he sort of it knew it wasn't going in but he thought well I'll, I'll just go just in case Corner. Ended up more like a belly flop. Corner is pulled back to Deco. Uh, plays it back to the left. In it comes. Headed away by Ronaldo, then chested down by Nani. Uh, and scores, backpedalling next to his dead ball line. Does clear it away. Oh, nervy now. Manchester United 1, Barcelona 0. Forward it goes. For Barcelona. Headed away by Brown. Every contact like that from a United player. An interception. Ahead of Eto'o this time, cheered to the rafters. Zambrotta with a throw up the line. Eto'o just off balance. Brown just put him off. And the ball bounced for Scholes, who was back there. Scholes tries to pick out a crossfield pass, which he does, into all the space that's over there. Just over 25 minutes to play. 1-0 Manchester United lead, 5 live. He at Stamford Bridge tomorrow night for the commentary. And then in the UEFA Cup, on Thursday night in Florence for Rangers game there but tonight Old Trafford and Ronaldo approaches the penalty area Park gives him it back Ronaldo just beaten by Puyol Park now again pulls the ball across the penalty area couldn't find a teammate in red and Milito takes it down and plays it away by the way 6.06 tonight follows uh, after 5 Live Sport with Alan Green here from Old Trafford and you can give him a ring on 0500 909 693 text 85058 on the events here tonight and what you think might happen tomorrow night. Can't be extra time here. Might well be extra time at Stamford Bridge, you would think. It is Barcelona who have it. 
with Zambrotta. But United have got everyone back behind the ball. And actually, you know, when you look at it, Barcelona in the second half have, have actually created very little. Here's Toure to the left, to Abidal, who floats in a cross which is over everyone inside the box and just bounces into the fullback position. And Evra uh, forces Messi to pop it behind for a court, uh, goal kick. Yeah, you're right about the, uh, the the lack of chances that they make. You, you think because of the the great football they play as well, the link football and the movement on them, and the pass and the weight of the pass and everything. You you think they would like create a chance almost every attack, but it's not been the case over the two legs so far. Such a big night for well, obviously it's it's a big night, but in terms of the future of Barcelona, they go out tonight. Then I think it really is all change on all fronts for Barcelona potentially this summer. Um, Zambrotta has just gone down. He challenged for the ball with Ronaldo. Um, Ronaldo raised his arm onto Zambrotta's shoulder as he jumped for the ball, and Zambrotta is suggesting that there was an elbow involved in that, which I think is doubtful. Here's Abidal now for Barcelona. Uh, pulls the ball across, headed away by Ferdinand at the point of the six-yard box. Barcelona have it back. Toure shoots from 30 yards well wide. Now, he's not going to score from there, Yaya Toure. Absolutely no chance whatsoever. And Essie, Essie was just shrugged his shoulders. He came away from his marker. Everyone was saying, you know, just give it to me. I'll, I'll produce something for you. I would suggest to you what, that's a good sign for United. Toure deciding to have sure. a shot from that sort of range. United leading Barcelona by a goal to nil. Toure wins a header. Uh, Ferdinand just behind the centre circle. Carrick then with another header. Tevez and Park exchange headers. And now Scholes gets the ball down on the pitch surface. Ronaldo attempts to go around the outside of Zambrotta. Uses his arms to pull him back. And Ronaldo yellow carded for that. Using his arms, pulled him back. Well, free kick Barcelona. Listen, Z Zambrotta's as good a diver as Ronaldo is on his day. And he, all he did was he got in front, and as soon as got in front of uh, Ronaldo, there was a hand on his shoulder. As soon as a hand on his shoulder, he was off. Brian Phelps, degree of difficulty, the whole thing, no problem. A little bit of took. Um, five live, halfway through the second half at Old Trafford in this semi-final second leg. United winning 1-0. Here's Alan Green. Well, largely, Ferdinand and Brian have been outstanding. But looking around the other United players, I'm not sure how many of them have actually played that well. Uh, they've been largely outplayed, except in terms of goals, of course. Here's Messi coming forward into Eto'o, back towards Messi, but didn't get the back heel right, and it's cleared by Rio Ferdinand, whose contribution again has been immense. Clearance upfield, Zambrotta heads it away from Ronaldo. Here's Tevez, who's been anonymous. Hardly noticed he's been playing. Hargreaves to Scholes. Score of the only goal in the 14th minute of the game, and it was an absolute peach. Nani on the far side of the field, back to Scholes. United have 22 minutes to go. Um, Bojan's got to be coming on very shortly, surely, for Barcelona. I think Messi looks tired. However dangerous he is, he looks tired. United on the attack here, but flags up for offside against Owen Hargreaves. Free kick to Barcelona. I think they were the changes he made last week. Henri for Iniesta and Bojan for Messi. Yeah, I didn't know. Did did, uh, did Messi play at the weekend, Alan? I never thought to look I, at. See, I, I, I don't know. Not, to be I, don't Probably, think so. I wouldn't have thought. Here he is now inside the seven no, circle. Didn't. Messi, Messi, onto Deco. Uh, Deco was substituted last week as well. Now Eto struggling to keep the ball in play. Does so, but Brian takes it off him. Brian and Ferdinand, the key at the moment to Manchester United's march on Moscow. Here's Tevez on the halfway line, being pushed by Yaya Toure. But does well the Argentine. Finds Hargreaves. Calls for United fans to uh, cheer their team. 20 mon 21 minutes left for play. Oh, there's a foul. And uh, that's a yellow card, is it, for Yaya Toure? Yeah. And if it is, yeah, Toure would miss the final. Yep. Yeah. So Toure will not be playing in Moscow, whatever happens now. A little rush of yellow cards in the second half but none of them until that one important in terms of the final yeah healthy the television monitor says misses next match as if it's just another game it's the final lads you know free kick to united hargreaves uh, to park who he too has been quiet on to nanny equally quiet on the far side of the field nanny close to the corner flag 
maybe trying to win a corner off Abidal. Abidal gets in the tackle, beats him, and here's Henry, who's yet to make any impact in the game. And now he's tackled, loses it to Hargreaves. Here's Park, Henry wins it back, uh, plays it back to Valdez, or in the direction of Valdez, but only concedes a corner. Yeah, it's a poor, uh, he, he, poor he won, the ball, won the ball, won the ball. Lost the ball, won the ball, knocked it out for a corner. 20 minutes to go. Uh, a second United goal will definitely beat Barcelona now, without question. Can they find it? From the far side. Corner, played in right, high. Uh, headed on there by Carrick, and just wide uh, beyond Ferdinand, goal kick. Yeah, I just looked for a second as though it might just reach Ferdinand, didn't it? But obviously not. Here comes Bojan for Etu. Well, um, does that? I wonder does Henry get a chance to play out the middle, which is where he'd want to play. Uh, uh, Bojan is going across to the left, is he? No, no Bojan's no, no. going, to, going the to the middle. So Henry still doesn't get to play where he wants to play. Arsenal. 19 minutes. <laughs> 19 minutes to go here at Old Trafford. Five live football on the BBC. Manchester United won Barcelona nil. As it's been since the 14th minute. Scored by this man, Scholes. Scholes uh, not once but twice fouled Deco. And the free kick finally awarded. Goes to Messi. Messi turns away from Carrick, beating him easily. Plays it back to Toure. Toure now. Uh, ahead of the centre circle. Plays it to the left. And Abidal. Abidal back now to Xavi. Xavi, where's the movement for the forward? They're, they're too static at the moment, Barcelona. Around the penalty area. Here's Messi, trying to flick it in the direction of Zambrotta. Head a United player, it's one back though by Deco. Poor from Ronaldo, cross into the penalty area. The forehead of Ferdinand directs it away. Brought down by Xavi. Xavi flicks it to young Bojan. Edge of the penalty area. Bojan, step over, pulls it back, hits the defender. Has it gone behind? No, it hasn't. Hargreaves keeps it in play, rocks it away for a throw-in. Are they holding too deep a line, United? No, Alan, I don't think they are, because at, at the moment, Barcelona can't penetrate that line, can they? They've, they've, got, they've got no space in behind the Manchester United, which actually against this team of Barcelona is not a bad idea at all. Puyol, onto Xavi, left of the centre circle. Henri drops deep, unavailable, but Xavi's looking to the right, to Deco. Deco juggling with the ball, harassed by Scholes. Uh, now on to Messi, Messi steps away from Scholes. Messi then slides the ball in towards Xavi, allowed to run by Manchester United behind for a goal kick. Yeah, just... Had the back for Hargreaves from Van der Sar. Yeah, went past Ferdinand, he decided to leave it, and then Owen Hargreaves as well did really well. He thought about putting a foot in it, I think, for a second. Ed mielsen has been uh, limbering up for most of the second half. Uh, but not coming in, no good Johnson's out oh, there as well. I don't, think, I don't need Ed Mielsen. No, <laughs> defensive midfield player? You wouldn't have thought so. No. Manchester United have 17 minutes to hang on to this lead as it's hoofed high by Puyol. Ferdinand heads it away. Ferdinand's been my man of the match for Manchester United. Ball's inside the centre circle. Javi lost possession to Carrick. And Carrick now guides it down the left flank. Uh, Puyol should get there before Ronaldo. Does get there before Ronaldo. And then very carefully plays it to Zambrotta. And Zambrotta hits it over the halfway line. And Bryant cleverly dummies that Messi. Brian running it back to Van de Zaar. Van de Zaar of his penalty area. Slices the clearance out of play for a throw-in. What about bringing on someone like Darren Fletcher? I think he's coming on. Just um, stiffening up the midfield. I'm not sure what contribution Danny and Parker are making. No. N neither now or at any stage during the game, frankly. Messi from the corner. Back to Zambrotta. Messi again. On to Deco. Deco's looking tired and falls over. And is tackled and beaten by Carrick. Carrick can't find Ronaldo. Zambrotta lifts the ball forward. Carrick heads it away. Park allows it to bounce. Uh, Messi doesn't want to file him. Park does well. In the skulls. Back to Carrick. And Carrick lifts it towards Ronaldo. Ronaldo, lovely chest control to Tevez. Tevez now running forward. The advantage played by the German referee because there'd been a foul on Ronaldo. Back to Hargreaves. Driven towards Nani. And uh, Nani's pass in field finds a blue shirt. And again, Manchester United can see possession very easily. Here comes Giggs and Fletcher shortly. Giggs already stripped. Ball's on to Bojan. Bojan clever. Ball pass back into Messi. Messi into the penalty. Messi still going. Good as Carrick dived in the ball. Almost handled it. But the referee was watching very carefully. Said nothing of the sort happened. And it's brought away by Manchester United. 
who've been under pressure for most of the second half, despite the absence of clear chances for Barcelona. Here's Nani. Quarter of an hour left in the game, plus stoppage time. Good run down the far side of the field by Tevez. Tevez then forced wide by Abidal. Tevez just checks and then tries to beat the Frenchman on the outside again. Now facing him, close to the corner flag. Flicks the ball into the penalty, headed away by Puyol, out for a throw-in. Uh, double substitution, Manchester United, Fletcher and Giggs. Not before time. Uh, Giggs for Nani. Well, I don't think either player has done anything. You know, the players that are being taken off. I'm assuming Park's the other one. Skulls. Skulls! Is it really? Yeah. Well, I think Skulls... Uh, I think Skulls has performed better tonight than he did in the new camp. He got rave re reviews for that, I didn't yeah. see it. Just gave him... Uh, I, th I think Fletcher for Skulls, obviously, young, enthusiastic, get around the pitch as well and cover all those areas in front of the back four. All right. Fergie giving very precise instructions now to both Ryan Giggs and Darren Fletcher, who are both on. Skulls and Nani off. How many minutes to go? A little under 14. Throwing in the far side of the field. Uh, goes to Park. Park falls over far too easily and loses it. Here's Yaya Torre playing it in the direction of Henri, but Henri's hardly had a pass yet. And uh, it's back Var Ferdinand to Van der Zaar, and Van der Zaar hits it towards the far flank. Park jumps, beaten in the air by Abadal. It's fallen to Carrick. Carrick heads it wastefully down, given away. Messi to Xavi, back to Toure. Uh, Bojan's down the right. Toure's in the centre of that midfield for Barcelona. Bojan comes, makes himself available. The 17-year-old takes it up. Now it's back to Xavi. Xavi with Messi to his left, and Thierry Henry. Henri being booed by the United fans, but gets the pass back to Messi. Messi, 25 yards from goal, faced by Fletcher, steps aside from Fletcher, runs into the penalty here. His cross must have taken the deflection, I think. That's a corner, surely. Yeah. It took the referee long enough to make up his mind, but I could see it from way off. Couldn't see how he, possibly the best player in the world, managed to kick it out from there otherwise. Yeah, absolutely right. Remember, if Barcelona score, they have the advantage because of the away goal. Xavi to take the corner, it's high into the penalty, a free header there, goodness gracious Thierry Henry that yeah. was a chance, it was a chance and it wasn't a particularly good header Alan either but it was a chance and Van der Sar slightly back pedalling just collected it easily and Van der Sar hit it straight out of play for a throw in throw goes back to Abidal and now it's with Zambrotta you can feel the tension all around Old Trafford, United have not played well tonight, they lead they're heading for Moscow, but they've got to hang on now for the remaining minutes. My stopwatch is stopped. That's great, isn't it? 12 minutes to go. Thank goodness I've got a television monitor. 12 minutes. I looked at it and thought, there can't be 14 minutes left. I said that two minutes ago. Here's that Bojan. Leaving it now for Toure. Everybody. Uh, Barbales is inside the Manchester United half. That's a foul by Zambrotta. I see track back with that uh, Ronaldo and it's... Definitely a free kick to Manchester United. Manchester United did really well in so far as they've just got now two lines of four. And it's really saying to Barcelona, go on then, you can play in front of us all night, but you're not going to play in behind us. And it's certainly been that way. Uh, well, the man who rather exaggerates with the microphone here, he said thanks to the United fans for the brilliant support. Now is when they need the brilliant support. They've been far too quiet of late. No. You know, they need to get some noise behind this team to carry them through these remaining minutes. 11 minutes to go here on 5 Live. Reichardt, well, he's just sitting quietly in the technical area. Uh, I think he knows his future is up here. You know, they're, what, third in La Liga, miles off the top. Miles off Real Madrid. Ronaldo looking for Evra. Evra tackled and beaten by Zambrotta. Clearance runs kindly for Xavi. He was being fouled there by Fletcher. Xavi, though, up to the halfway line. Good ball to the left-hand side. And Thierry Henry. You know, he looked just a little bit stretched here. Henry, fresh legs, running at Hargreaves. Running inside. Plays it to Deco. Deco rolls the ball to the left side to Abidal. But behind the French fullback. Abidal does well to get it back to Deco. Deco plays it to Melito, almost on the halfway line into Toure, 
Toure steps away from Giggs. Still Barcelona pressure. Deco, good tackle on the far side by Park. Ball break to Melito. On to Abidal. Into Deco. Back towards Abidal. I thought Deco was caught there by Fletcher. Referee says no. And here's Carrick. Careful clearance to Tevez on the far side of the field. Tevez on the halfway line. On to Ronaldo. Now Giggs is forward. So too is Park. Ronaldo running at the defence. Edge of the penalty here. Shoots wide. Well, once he'd gone past the first man, Ronaldo, and drawn the second, he could have played Park or Giggs in either or. Valdez's uh, goal kick was played out like a pass to Xavi. And now it's with Bojan. Xavi again. Less than 10 minutes to go. Here's Messi to Deco. Henri is ahead and to his left. And it's played to Henri into the penalty. He shoots through Van der Sar makes the save. Yeah. Not enough Cut, Cutting in from the left-hand side. Half oh, volley. Wrapped his foot round it. Comfortable save in the end for Van der Sar. Do you remember Porto's equaliser here? Was that Costinha? I remember sure it. it was. Down this end as At well. At this end. Oh, sorry. The end to our right. And that's when um, a certain Jose made this in flamboyant run down the touchline and basically ran his way into the Champions League final and ran his way into English football well he would be a contender obviously to take over from Rijkaard if Rijkaard's time is up I'm sure he'll have a pick of a number of jobs Jose Mourinho at the end of this season cheering from United fans but tension from them as well now there's a foul on Ronaldo and it's a free kick, a relieving free kick to Manchester United, short of the halfway line. John O'Shea might come on soon. Giggs just leaves it. Uh, Barcelona fans, of course, are even more tense. They know their side has to score. United have done enough at the moment to take them through to Moscow, take them through to the first ever All-English final in the Champions League or the European Cup, whatever it's called. Great run down the far side of the field by Hargreaves, then he's tackled and beaten by Abidal. Abidal's passed forward to Xavi, intercepted. Here's Ronaldo now, 25 yards out, trying to create room for the shot. Plays it to Tevez. Tevez crosses deep, too deep for Giggs, and it's through to Valdez. I think United would have preferred the free kick, actually. Didn't get it. Here's Deco. Deco's legs are have gone. But he's been fouled. And it's a free kick. Oh, hold on, was there a free given? No, no. Oh, it's a throw in. Yeah, yeah. He's just having a word with uh, was it Iniesta. Xavi. Here's Molito. On to Xavi. Barcelona suddenly looked very tired to me. Avidal on the far side of the field. I mean, for most of the game, apart from a spell midway inside the first half. They've had to take the initiative, Barcelona. But they have not had the end product. Now they get a free kick for a foul by Fletcher on Messi. Messi plays it quickly to Henri. Back to Messi. Messi to Henri. Henri was so lazy running after that ball. He just casual. Too, far too casual. No need for that at this stage of a Champions League semi-final second leg. Toure to Deco. And Deco flicks it to the right towards Ambrotta. Ambrotta, good control. In now to Bojan, approaching the penalty area. Bojan, room for the cross, whips it in straight into the arms of Van der Sar. Nah, I waste because he had a lot of space as well to curl it away from Van der Sar. It was easy for Van der Sar. Six and a half minutes to go before stoppage time. Are you feeling the tension? You should be. Here's Thierry Henry for Barcelona. On to Bojan. Messi lurks on the edge of the penalty chair. Will the cross in the 17-year-old be better this time? Bojan, no. Pass to Messi. Messi tackled by Evra. Evra half won it. Falls to Xavi. On to Messi again. Messi now. Steps inside of Park easily. Into Deco. Roll pass to Messi. Messi on now. Edge of the penalty chair. Here's Melito. Melito on his right foot. Crosses low. Headed away by Evra. Fletcher just needs to bang it anywhere and does so towards this near touchline and Ronaldo barged into uh, the Barcelona player there as a brother but it's out of play for a throw in nothing worse than that and Carlos Kiros had something to say there has he given a free kick yeah, yes yeah. he has well I think that was a free kick yeah United fans have to find serious voice here need to carry the team through They've been under pressure throughout the second half. They've been under pressure for most of the game. But they lead by a goal to nil. Scored by Paul Scholes. Scholes is now off the pitch. Fergie says, if you don't get to the final, Scholes will definitely play. He'll make up for what Scholes had to miss in Barcelona, of all places, back in 1999. Here's Giggs. 
Wide to the left and Ronaldo. Ronaldo running beyond Zambrano. Zambrano gets in a good tackle and puts it on a play for the throw in. And we've got five minutes left to go. Just watching Deco, line. Alan, is how Deco just cannot run. No, he can't. He's finished. He's given everything. It's as well that, you know, he wasn't fit two weeks ago because he had a great influence in the first leg and he's been influential tonight. But not enough as the scarves are waved above United fans' heads. And that's the noise that United want to hear. Time running out for Barcelona. Pass back to, by Puyol to Valdez was a little short, but Valdez clears it upfield. Bojan is there. Ferdinand crouches the head of all the carrot. On it goes to Fletcher inside the centre circle. Fletcher spins away from Javi. Good play. Finding Giggs. Giggs looking for Tevez. Tevez had stopped running, and the ball's through to Valdez. Waste. Just giving the ball back to Barcelona. The lines are open for 6 6 0 Pulo to Xavi to Molita. Right, Bojan's through the middle. Henri is without influence down the left. It's played towards Bojan and good defensive work by Brian. He just let the ball run through and Van der Sar will finally lift it. The Johnson's coming on. He may as well take Henri off for what he's done since he came on. Yeah, we've come off a deco, but you're right. Yeah, no. There's Henri no influence at all. Plays like a player, he's disinterested. I'm sure it, that's not the case, but he won't endear himself to the Barcelona fans. Four minutes to go, plus stoppage time. Uh, Barcelona have had 58% of the possession to Manchester United's 42%. They've not done a lot with it, no, no they I haven't. They haven't. Certainly threatening in the first half, far less so in the second period. Still, the one goal separates the teams. And that's all that matters as far as Manchester United are concerned. Paul Scholes, a shot from 25 yards, is taking them through to Moscow at the moment. The ball is back with Van der Zaar. And it only needs to, at least, get up, force Van der Zaar to lift the ball, as he does now. And then it's pulled out to Hargreaves in the far side of the field. Manchester United running down the time here. Fletcher, good pass in field to Tevez. Tevez should leave it for Giggs, but no, instead the pass goes to Ronaldo. Ronaldo hasn't shown anything tonight. Here's the stage now, Cristiano. Three minutes to go. Giggs, uh, Ronaldo falls over. He was fouled. United have got the possession. Therefore, it's their advantage, according to the German referee. On to Ronaldo. Ronaldo's pass to Tevez. It was sliced out of play, and it's a throw into Barcelona. And here comes Good Jonsson. Um... Gioia Ture, yeah. Another striker on. Uh, the, not much point in having a defensive midfielder now with two minutes to go for stoppage time. No, but he can run and Deco can't. Yeah. And Deco's going to uh, Deco's going to receive this throw in surely from Zambrotta. No, it's going beyond Deco. Uh, towards Xavi. He looks tired too. Back to Molito. Avidal on the far side of the field. Henri's coming to the centre. Good Johnson's behind him. Avidal up to the halfway line. Pass into Xavi. An away goal would be a killer for United. It's played to Bojan. Bojan, great control in the penalty area. And then Brown was across. Gets in the tackle. Puts it out of play. His first touch is almost too good because instead of just running away a little bit so he could hit it, it stayed underneath his feet. Still nervous for Manchester United. Hanging on here to the lead. Messi, after the throw-in, steps away from Ronaldo, plays it in low. Brown again with a clearance. Brown and Ferdinand have been outstanding for Manchester United, as they were in Barcelona. Here's Hargreaves heading the cross away. Tevez allows it to run too far. Molito gets to the ball. Why does Ambrota? A little over a minute left for play. Back to Molito. I reckon there'll be at least two or three minutes of stoppage time. High towards Good Johnson on the far side, and Hargreaves headed out of play. Some right back. It's a makeshift right back, isn't he, on Hargreaves? Terrific player. He's he's done well, too, alongside Brandon and Bryan. Throw goes to, Mali, uh, to Puyol. Puyol's now up an attack. This is the desperation move for Barcelona. Messi now, 30 yards of goal. Great pass on to Puyol, who's onside. Plays it in low, cleared by Brian. Puyol again on the far side of the field. That's three great interceptions by Wes Brian. Puyol steps away from Hargreaves. Oh, it picks him on the inside as well. Crosses. Decker's beaten in the air. Messi's there. Barks inside the penalty area. No obstruction. Cleared by Manchester United. Up yeah, to the great decision, line. referee. Now, Everett's gone down. And I don't know what happened there. And it's uh, Barcelona playing on, but Ronaldo has the ball out of play. And 
here is uh, well Ever's going to receive treatment for about half an hour I think I'm not sure what happened to him um, three yeah. minutes of stoppage time definitely not a penalty in fact no it wasn't unless he knew he never really didn't even appealed for a penalty yeah. I think he's going to Fergie's going to get uh, Sylvester on for Ever did you see what happened to Ever I didn't I'm afraid I was watching the play right well um, we're into stoppage time, and they're obviously going to have to add more time for this injury to Evra. Evra's flat his back at the moment. Actually, I think he collided with Ronaldo. We're just seeing a replay. I think it was a collision with Ronaldo. And uh, Melito, being the kind-hearted good Samaritan, is going up to the referee and saying, look, get him off and make sure we have plenty of time added on for this hold-up. See. Si. See. Si. Uh, well, Herbert Van Dahl is in. Now I call for the stretcher to come on. This is that's not good news for Manchester United if, if ever is really injured, but you know it just holds up the progress of well, Barcelona. Stops momentum, any momentum yeah. at the moment in Barcelona's favour. Well, it's at least a minute uh, that we've had this stoppage. At least a minute. Carlos Kieras is talking to Tevez and to Giggs. Fergie's out there as well. Sylvester's coming on anyway. It's just taking a long while for uh, Patrice Evra to be lifted onto the stretcher. Now, three minutes of stoppage time were allocated. We've had about a minute and a half now, but all of that time has been taken up with the Evra injury. So I reckon you have to start with a clean slate when the play finally resumes. It's a facial injury, I think, Alan, isn't it? Well, I don't know whether it's his face or his neck. Chin or his I, I don't cheap know. Bone. I don't know. Well, there must be... 30, 40,000 scarves, if not more, being held aloft at the moment. They're all Manchester United scarves, about to celebrate a famous win against Barcelona. But they're going to have to see out the correct amount of stoppage time. Evra is now on the stretcher and is being very carefully lifted. Clearly, Sylvester is coming on. So Evra hands over his eyes. And no doubt he's in prayer, not for his own well-being, but for the safety and security of his team as they play out these three minutes of stoppage time to try to reach the final in Moscow. Now, the ball went out of play, nowhere near there. Did the referee blow his whistle for play to stop? I thought it had just gone out for a throw and off for an loose header. And the linesman hasn't a clue. Uh, so he gives the ball <laughs> to the referee. He's going to drop it. And Gig, I think Giggs is then going to put it out of play. Well, this is just holding up play, and Giggs does lift it forward. It's not gone out of play. It's bouncing towards Umbrota. So, we play two and a half minutes of the alleged three minutes of stoppage time. I reckon these two more minutes need to be added on. Henri to Abidal on the far side of the field. Abidal crosses towards Messi. Messi takes it on his chest. Awkward control. Sylvester hustling him from behind. Messi moving in field, away from the French defender. Plays it in. Good pass to Good Johnson. Good Johnson on his right foot. Shoots. Brilliant block that was by Rio Ferdinand. Ferdinand and Brian mentioned their names constantly tonight. Terrific from the two England defenders. Abidal. Barcelona. Cross the ball in. Headed away by Carrick. Puyol knocks it high. High toward the far side. Henri comes in. Beaten in the air by Park. Ball breaks down to Abidal. Another high cross by Abidal. Good Johnson allows it to be headed clear by Brian. Headed back by Deco. Carrick heads it away. Desperate stop. Not great football, but fantastic drama. Carrick clears again over the halfway line. And Puyol has to chase back. How much time now will the referee add on? It's hit high. Uh, Malito's up on the attack. Headed clear by United again. Abidal running into Giggs. Foul on Giggs, is it? Relieving free kick for Manchester United. And that might be enough now. Yeah, the thing is, great in it. Giggs miscontrolled. Just sucked Abidal in, thinking he could pinch the ball. And all he got was Giggs. Stick this in the corner. Listen to the racket now. Fergie's just had a look at his watch. He'll know that we've already had four minutes of stoppage time, but he'll also appreciate that the stoppage involving the injury to Evra was at least one and a half to two minutes. Maybe another minute to go. I think Barcelona are beaten now. In fact, they've been beaten for the last ten minutes. The body language is all wrong. Ferdinand plays the free kick very deep. Too deep for Ronaldo. It scurries behind for a goal kick. And Valdez, if he can ever get the ball back, and well, there's no guarantee of that... Uh, 
ball boy didn't hurry but who would blame him it's now with Valdez the referee I think has had the time no not yet Valdez hits the goal kick into the United half headed down by Carrick Giggs back to Fletcher just keep the ball United Fletcher played towards Park great interception by Abadal Livy one last chance for Barcelona hoofed high Henri's running through the middle doesn't make any attempt to head the ball headed away by Brian picked up by Melito though he's tired and has to retreat back to Abidal on his left foot moving inside Abidal running forward flicking it on headed on here's Henri and again he was far too lazy ball breaks to Bojan down the right hand side Bojan five and minutes and a quarter of stoppage time being played Bojan is fouled by Ronaldo this will be the last opportunity for Barcelona yeah Valdez coming up I think he may as well now it's two feet in for the right touch line level with the edge of the Manchester United penalty area the very last attempt for Barcelona Xavi plays it in nobody went to meet the ball with their head that was wretched it's clear and there's the final whistle Manchester United are through to their Champions League final their dearest wish and England has an all English final only the third time countries from the same nation have met at the final of the Champions League Manchester United are through will it be Chelsea that meets them in Moscow or will it be Liverpool some fans have come on the pitch at least one fan has come onto the pitch he's been submerged by Stewart but Manchester United congratulations to them I don't think it was their best performance of the season but yet again they've maintained an unbeaten record in this season's Champions League the only team to do that now and they're through to Moscow well you know I mean it's a great achievement for them and the thing is over the two legs Alan they've restricted Barcelona to very very few chances over those two legs and obviously to come away with a 1-0 goal a 1-0 wins fantastic goal as well by Scholes a super super strike and semi-finals you know they're not about playing well they're all about getting over the line it's exactly what Manchester United have done tonight I thought defensively I thought the, the, the back four of Hargreaves, Brown Ferdinand and Everett were very very good I thought Van der Sar as well was just coolness personified they worked very very hard in front of that ball, that back four and Barcelona played the better football they may have had more of the possession but I thought they played in front of Manchester United an awful lot nobody really tried to run in behind Manchester United and because of that I think they made United's jobs easier but congratulations to Manchester United a fantastic effort over the two legs and nobody will be leaving Old Trafford early who is a fan of Manchester United because at half time uh, with, uh, great foresight the Tannoy announcement was if United get through to the final in Moscow there will be a very important statement regarding the final at the end of the game <laughs> marvellous has anybody got a ticket the guy who ran onto the pitch will be there but many more of these fans will be 21,000 of them how do you feel about that Paul Scholes he rushed from the bench into the huddle that was Manchester United at the end of that game because in his own quiet way, not only has he taken Manchester United to the final, he's taken himself to his first ever Champions League final. History made then by Manchester United tonight, not just for them, but also for the English Premier League. It is going to be an all-England final in Moscow. Chelsea or Liverpool against Manchester United, who have beaten Barcelona here in really tense circumstances at Old Trafford and as glory glory Manchester United rung around this ground and Manchester United finally made their way into the far corner by the Stratford end everybody here has taken a very deep breath indeed I'll tell you what Mark Lawrence and you said to me right at the start of the night this won't be about the way they attack it'll be about the way that Manchester United defend and they got it right in the centre of defence Sorry, Mark, I was just listening, I was listening to the ticket announcement. You were absolutely miles away. Fascinated about the ticket announcement. Um, I just, I think just to get through the semi-finals, obviously, it's, just, it's a major, major achievement. And some people might say that they played uh, Barcelona at the right time. Well, arguably be so, but Manchester United haven't played, been playing particularly well tonight. And said to Alan before, uh, things about semi-finals, right? They're all full of players to play in because you just got to win. They just don't worry about playing. Well, you just have to get through it. And it's exactly what United have done tonight. You, you uh, 
beforehand pointed it defensively tonight for Manchester yeah, very United. Good. Very, very good. I mean, they've been very, very good all season. Obviously, Vidic was missing. Uh, Brown slotted in there alongside him, played extremely well. I said Hargreaves and, and, uh, and Ever have been very good as well indeed. And, you know, good protection in front of him, scores and carry for, for the majority of the game. And Van der Sar, because he's, he's been there, he's seen it, he's done it. His calmness, his coolness, and he's just easy. And, and in the end, you know, they, they won this game with probably 15 or 20 minutes to go. There was only Henri Zede that was a slight worry. But apart from that, Barcelona second half, lots of the ball. But I say they just played in front of Manchester United. And credit to Manchester United for, for not allowing them to sort of pierce the rear guard. Both sides out on their feet by the end of that. Uh, Barcelona in particular, I mean... It showed with Deco that he hasn't had that much football. Messi had done everything he possibly could. And, and the lads that came on looked out of touch, didn't they? Henri and at the end, a very porky good Jonsson. It's a, it's, yeah, it's, a, it's a funny thing, though. You know, what, what about Ronaldinho? Why wouldn't Ronaldinho have wanted to play, you know, in the, in the semi-finals? You know, injured or not, I don't, I don't think he's particularly injured. He's just decided he wants to go. Why, if that was the case, you know, if you're a right guard, why don't you say to him, look... Ronaldinho, you know, give us two massive efforts, semi-finals, and then another one, the third one in the final, and obviously you will go as a hero. So there's something fundamentally in that Barcelona club at the moment that's not right. They know the manager's going. One or two of them are strutting around the place. Let that take nothing away from Manchester United's achievement. They played very, very well over the two legs. We said when we went to Rome as well, when they played Roma the other week, they won there comfortably, and we said, you know... Sometimes you look at a team and you think their name might be on the cup and I think that's the case with Manchester United. Uh, Alan, uh, Manchester United again haven't played quite at their best tonight but they they sort of get there, they've got across the line again. Well, it, it's just proved the old adage that you don't win trophies, you don't win league titles just by having adventurous players up front like Ronaldo or Tevez or Rooney. You've got to have a really good defence. And I think it was the defence that saw United pass Barcelona in both games. I mean, they were far more cautious in the new Camp than they were here tonight. But overwhelmingly, it was quite a conservative display by Ferguson's team. And I, I thought the two central defenders, Brown and Ferdinand, were absolutely fantastic. Particularly Rio Ferdinand. And then towards the end, Wes Brown made some vital interceptions. Bojan had an opportunity when the ball broke him in the penalty area. His control good. Brown is across. Stop for that. Many people now beginning to leave the stadium here. Be rocking in Manchester later on. We've got plenty more to come before 10 o'clock. Alan Green's got a lot of work to do. He wants to hear from you from 10 o'clock tonight. 6.06 live from Old Trafford. 0500 909 693. Not just the Manchester United fans tonight. The English fans of football with the historic moment that it will be in Moscow when two English sides, Manchester United against either Chelsea or Liverpool, will play in the Champions League final.